Hi friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house and welcome to today's video as I share with you and give you my review of this seven foot pre-lit flock tree from the at home store. The number is C15 and it's a waning flock tree. Now I picked up this tree a couple of weeks ago during the pre Black Friday sale and it is, I think the tree is actually $179 but I um, was able to get it for $79 that was their pre Black Friday price and so I'm gonna give you my review and what I thought about the um, this tree in general how it is performing what I thought about the flocking so as you see um, this tree is gonna come in three parts so you have the bottom the middle and then the top it also has the tree stand that you just pull apart and then you um, twist it in place there's a mechanism that I'm sharing with you right now that twists it in place and so if you have them on hardwood floors um, there are like these slides on there so it won't scratch your floor so here you see I am placing the bottom portion into the stand and then I'm tightening it up and um, each piece of the tree came like wrapped in its own plastic so I love that part and this is the tree when it is um, standing upright and um, as you see just I have not fluffed it so that's what I'm gonna do right now and I just go throughout the tree and make sure that my hand touches each branch and I pull everything down and then I shape it into the natural form that the tree would naturally um, um, be out in the um, wilderness now the first thing I can say is that this flocking is absolutely beautiful um, it is very very thick it's very fluffy and um, it is not like hard I, um, I've seen flocking where it's, it's clumpy this isn't clumpy it is very beautiful I'm giving you an up close look at what it looks like and then this is what the tree looks like um, all when it's all um, put up together and I have um, put it into the socket so you can see the beautiful warm lights now one thing I want you to notice is that there is very minimum fallout from the flocking so I like that and it's not the type of flocking that kind of sticks to the floor so it was easy to come up you see I can vacuum it up you can even sweep it up or mop it up now this is a close-up look of this tree and guys these warm lights bouncing off the beautiful white flocking on the branches is absolutely amazing this tree Tree looks great as is I really don't need to do anything to it and even after I flocked it you see that the holes in it is very minimum and um, it comes um, very low to the ground which I like now one thing I can say my old tree which was the old-fashioned tree it was a nine-foot tree and it was very very full and round so I had to kind of get used to this tree not being round as my other one um, was but it is absolutely beautiful that is the only negative that I can see about the tree it looks great in the space that it's going to be housed in I'm used to the other tree really taking up that entire space but this gives me the opportunity and real estate to do other things in that area so I'm really happy about that another thing that I loved about this tree is that it was very very simple to put together and just by simply clicking each piece into um, each other all the lights came on and so then they gave me additional lights should any lights blow out and yeah it was just really a uh, really great experience this and the, for me to put the tree together took me about five minutes and then I said it probably took me another about 15 minutes to do all the fluffing and this is the tree um, before I decorate it it is time to decorate that tree guys on my next video I will be sharing with you um, the decorated tree I know you guys have seen so many other videos of how people decorate their tree but I'm just gonna give you a quick glimpse of me um, decorating this tree and some of the uh, materials that I'm going to use on it and then on my next video it will be the beginning of my series and you will begin, begin to see the entire space come together and with the tree being the jumping off point 
um, guys I hope you enjoy this video if you have any questions about this tree please don't hesitate to ask me after Christmas if you go to the at-home store and you see this tree is one that I highly recommend I got it at a great value for pre black friday but i know that after christmas you guys can like really really score this amazing um tree for next christmas so i want to make sure i put out this review in the event that you are looking for a tree and after christmas is when you plan on getting it if you go to the at home store make sure you look for c15 i hope you enjoy the rest of this video guys this ribbon as well as these um, cream baubles came from Michaels. These are the focal points of this tree. You're gonna see a lot of variations. I picked up these beautiful um, shatterproof mercury glass um, ornaments here. Those came from Hobby Lobby. And then this ribbon here that also came from Michaels, guys. And I love the ruffledness and then the kind of crinkled look and the fact that it's wired. So you will see a lot of these items in my upcoming video and how I decided to style this tree with the colors of copper, black, cream, and gold. And then you will see a lot of reflective elements um, such as brooches, glass, crystals. Guys, this tree is like very, very over the top. It's very opulent and it is going to be fabulous. I picked up those hooks because they had the crystal element to them and then they were gold. And then at um, the at-home store, you got three picks for $1.99. That is a great value, guys. So I got and picked up a whole lot of those because those are going to look really pretty. And in my decor style this year, you're going to see a lot of sugared elements. I think you're going to be really impressed with how this look came together throughout the home. So guys, make sure you come back tomorrow as I share with you how I styled this um, tree and make sure you continue to follow me for the remainder of the holiday season as I will reveal each room of my home. So guys, I'm about to end this video. If you are new to Wani's house, I would love for you to subscribe. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you won't miss any of my upcoming uploads. Well guys, I'm about to go, but before I do, you know what I always say, the next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.